completely distracted by Nugget. But you know what else we should be distracted by for real though is this apparent Pixel 3 laptop that's apparently coming that apparently oh. Android police had apparently rumored about. Um, apparently. They were rumoring all over they the place. They were rumoring all over the place, y'all. So apparently this Pixel 3 laptop is scheduled. It's called Andromeda, which I was sort of pronouncing as Andromeda yesterday. The OS <laughs> is Andromeda. Yes. It's, yeah, the, it's, the underlying uh, the OS. The OS is called Andromeda, and it may finally be that perfect marriage of Chrome OS and Android that's mm. been sort of rumored about for the last year or so. You guys remember that last year, Wall Street Journal broke the story mm -hmm. that this was coming. And then, you know, immediately, um, I believe it was Sundar that that turned it down, that shot it down. So this is not happening. This is not what's going on. But, but then at but then at Google I.O., we saw the Android apps coming to Chrome OS and we're like, oh, maybe this is the thing that the Precisely. Wall Street Journal was talking about. And I believe at the time, even when they shot it down, we said, yeah, they probably they're, they're shooting it down in the short term, but it, it, they left it open for the long term, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, th and that was clear. So I'm, I'm not surprised by this at all. Uh, I am not either, actually, because, I mean, companies typically will try and do anything to try and, you know, to make push money. the news. <laughs> push the news. Push the news until or, they're ready. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. until they're ready. Um, not reveal too much too it, soon. Precisely. Yeah. I don't know where my words are today. You're fine. Uh, but I do have some words about the Pixel 3 that is apparently slated for release next year in Q3 2017. Um, apparently, it will have a 12.3 inch display. It will run on the Intel M3 or i5 core mobile processors. Uh, it might have 32 uh, gigs to 128 gigs of storage, sort of on point with what's happening with other like ultra books mm -hmm. that are on the mm -hmm. market, sort of other two and ones. Um, apparently it might cost around $799 with a stylus that's sold separately. So it'll have stylus and Wacom support. Precisely. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Mateo? Well, they're definitely making a play for the creative types, if that's the, the case. I mean, or well, productive types. Productive types, creative types. <laughs> <laughs> It could be productively Nugget. creative. Nugget. Creatively well, is, productive. Is, is this potentially Google trying to take aim at the Surface? Probably. I mean, because I, I feel like the I feel like the Microsoft Surface is the only tablet with a style. Well, maybe the iPad Pro, I guess, too. The the enormous newspaper side iPad. Yes. But the you know, I mean, but the Microsoft Surface is selling well, and people are using it. And yes. Artists love it. I know a lot of artists who use the Surface when they go on the road and that sort of thing. Huawei so, has the MateBook, right. which uh, comes in this size actually and has sort of these similar specifications, but that runs Windows 10. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Samsung so, has also been doing the Note series of devices true. with pressure-sensitive pens. So it's nothing particularly new, but in a pixel form factor, with, Google put their, yeah. may put their own spin on the on With the Android Mida. And, and, I like to call it Android, Android Mida. Mida. Um, and what's interesting beyond that is that some of the tipsters are saying, have told, I think it was 9 to 5 Google, that this was actually more targeting like Mac Pro users or MacBook Pro users. Interesting. So, so it's not necessarily it's targeting you, Ron. Not necessarily yeah. meant to be a tablet replacement, but meant to be a fully fledged kind of like Google laptop OS environment based on Android, integrating the great parts of of Chrome OS. Uh, which I mean, yeah, bring it on. And I mean, and I think <laughs> the question beyond that is, what is the what is the end game for Andromeda? Is this just a way to make a really nice two-in-one device, you know, have some sort of a laptop that, that kind of solves the, well, it's just Chrome OS, you need to be connected to the internet, so, you know, that has limited use for me because I need more. Um, or is this, is Andromeda actually the next stage, the next phase of, of Android going forward? I don't think it's the next phase or the next stage of Android. I think it's just an, an evolution of it. I think it has to evolve to remain relevant, so... Mm -hmm. But this is a pretty big evolution, if that's This the case. is a pretty big evolution, but I think Google's also trying to evolve to remain as relevant as it possibly can. But, and I, and I think it's relevant? also, I think this also speaks to di making devices that are for different audiences. If this is a productivity device, it's going to have different needs. And so maybe that requires a different flavor, you know, and they can justify why phones aren't going to run Andromeda, that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, 
Oh, sorry, go It on. sounds like a step in the same direction. Microsoft are taking the one operating system for all devices mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that scales depending mm -hmm. on the context you're mm -hmm. in. So the idea of having the same operating system on your phone that plugs in at your desk and suddenly becomes a desktop OS on the same memory processor and so on. Um, Google are obviously taking it from the other side. They have two separate operating systems that they're, they seem to be merging, whereas Microsoft started with Windows 10 as the one OS they were shoehorning onto the devices. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's two different approaches to try and solve the same problem. It will be interesting to see how it goes. Obviously, Microsoft have learned a lot more in the last few years. Google may have to go through that learning process as they try and come up with the same solution. Right, right.